Hey guys, today we'll try an uh, chart which is uh, rarely used, but I, I feel that you should be knowing this kind of charts uh, may be useful in some uh, some cases such as logistics or supply chain. Yeah. Uh, today we'll be talking about the radar charts. Now, where do we use the radar charts? It's, uh, I haven't used it in sales at any point of time, but uh, usually radar charts are used to evaluate different choices based on multiple variables. Uh, the radar charts show one or more variables in a two-dimensional graph with one spoke for each variable. For example, you could evaluate the quality, price, flexibility, and response time of three different suppliers. So uh, it's it's a bit complicated and a bit uh, difficult to understand. But yes, it is mostly the, the thing that you need to understand. It's mostly used to understand two-dimensional quantitative as well as qualitative aspects of a particular variable or multiple variables in one chart. Let's try to see how this could be created in uh, Google Sheets. So I have a data of expenses. So I have the projected and the actual expenses. And I have the various expenses that I uh, that I do usually. So right now let's select the data and try to understand the chart. Okay, I'll say insert, I'll say chart. Then it is growing, uh, showing me pie chart based on the distribution that I have. Yeah, on the projected expenses and actual expenses, but I do not want this. I want a red eye chart. So I go here in others and I'll select red eye chart. Now you really need to understand first how this chart looks like and what does it denote. Now it radar chart always will have zero in the center. Yeah. And it will slowly drift outside. So your points keep on drifting outside. So it will show you actual from here the projected to actual. For example, your rent was 700 which was projected and the actual was 700. So that's why the point is getting collided here. Now let's understand for something which is deviating for debt, wherein the projected or 200, but it overshoot 250. Yes, yeah, so you, you see here the blue line, which was product projected was 200 and it's just 250. Yeah, so it gives you an idea in a two dimensional way, how your variables are reacting, yeah towards your quantitative uh, values. Yeah, let's try one more, uh, one more graph uh, related to school rankings. Suppose I have uh, various schools, yeah? And I have the number of students, acceptance rate and the rate class size. Yeah, I want to plot it and I see how it looks like. So I'll select this. I'll say, again, insert. I'll say chart. It is showing me three different charts based on the three columns that you have, but I want to know the relevance between each other. So that's why I'll have the red eye chart. So this is how it looks like. Yes. Now it is showing me a great amount of details how the Sunset School is doing in terms of uh, Jackson Academy or, uh, or or the Summer Village. Yeah. So this is how you comparatively try to find out uh, a relation as well as uh, try to find out uh, how good or bad the data is in terms of uh, in terms when you are trying to compare it with one another. Yes. So that's 
انا ده مش عارف yes so the only thing that you need to remember about it is uh, the chart displays multi variant data stacked at an axis with the same central point so that's zero at every point of time you see both of the uh, graphs we have zero as its central point yeah and it is mostly used to have three or more quantitative variables for comparison so we are trying to compare all the variables with each other yeah now it looks like somehow like a spider web which is sometimes it is called as spider chart as well yeah so you can call it as radar or spider chart so let us see if we have something some changes in the edit section the customized section apart from other so do not have we have the same uh, options which are available for line chart which you can go through and check on it okay. thank you i hope you may uh, come across a situation where you can use the radar chart yeah while comparing variables thank you so much